Hello everyone. Welcome to the material science lab. Today we will uh, conduct the hardness test. So before conducting the test, let me introduce you the hardness and different types of hardness test uh, available. Now hardness is actually it is the resistance to abrasion, to indentation, scratching, cutting or shape. So this is the property of the material which tell us how much the material is a resistance to scratching you can say our indentation if you want to scratch a material if you can scratch it easily it means it is not hard material if you cannot scratch it easily it means it is uh, hard material now hardness also depends on the grain size the yield strength tensile strength ductility and resistance to abrasion if we are if the, the, the we have a material of high tensile strength the hardness number should be different as compared to the material of having low uh, tensile strength. So it depends on uh, these properties also. Now hardness can be defined in the form of like indentation hardness. If you want to make a dent in the material and then uh, find the hardness, it will be indentation hardness, scratch hardness if the material is like resistant to scratches, rebound hardness or micro uh, hardness. So it can be defined in all these uh, four forms. Now the indentation hardness. The resistance offered by the metal to indentation. If we want to make indentation in the metal and it resists that one, so that we can say that this is indentation hardness. It is commonly used test for the hardness and usually the indenter is forced against the flat surface of the metal and that indenter is uh, a hard material so usually a diamond indenter you might have here the name diamond indenter is usually used and we measure the depth of the impression of the diameter to determine the hardness so whatever uh, impression is made in the met metals so we have to measure the diameter of that to, to determine the hardness number we are using three tests mainly to find the hardness number the brennial hardness test the rockwell hardness test and the weaker hardness test so today we will be uh, performing the weaker hardness test experiment but let me just tell you uh, briefly about the the first two also what is the brennial hardness and the rockwell hardness these hardness tests are different in the form of like uh, in the shape might be changed the size of the indenter could be different. The load we are applying uh, can be different. And the method of measuring the, the diameter or the depth of the impression. So these things uh, make differences in these three types of uh, hardness tests. So the brainial hardness test. We perform this uh, test to find the hardness. And we use the indenter. Actually, it is a ball indenter. A 10 millimeter diameter and whenever we use this test for iron and steel we apply a load of 3000 kilogram for 10 seconds and when we do the same test for the ferrous metal and non uh, and its alloy so then we use the same indenter uh, which is the ball indenter 10 millimeter diameter for 30 seconds but the load here is less which is 500 kilogram so once we make the dent, then we measure the diameter of the dent and we put it in the formula here to find the brainial hardness number. We have the Rockwell hardness test. This test is mostly used uh, in the lab to find the hardness. This is fast and free from the personal error. The, the, the small size of indentation is made. So usually the hardness test, there is a small dent is there, right? So it is like the non-destructive testing but somehow you can say still there is a dent so it comes under the destructive testing. So this uh, Rockwell hardness test is similar to the brainial hardness test and the depth of impression is measured rather than the diameter. So we here we are interested in the depth of the impression not in the diameter of the uh, impression. Now the hardness, uh, the Rockwell hardness test we use uh, two types of indenter. One is the ball indenter you see here and the other one is the diamond cone uh, indenter. So for the ball indenter we use 100 kilogram load 
while for the diamond cone and denter we use 150 kg uh, low the last one is the weaker harness test which we will uh, perform today this uh, weaker harness test the indenter used here is diamond pyramid right and the diamond pyramid you see here it will be of this shape right but if you see a close view so this is the diamond pyramid and here we apply the force right the opposite angle of the sides of the opposite side the angle between the opposite side you see here this angle it should be 136 uh, degree the load varies in this test from 1 kg to 120 kg depending upon the material and the harness measure uh, the harness number uh, is denoted by the hv so the weaker harness number is represented by the hv now once we complete the test then we have to measure these two diameter if you we have the dent you see it will be a diamond shaped dent so if you look into the uh, dent using microscope you will see these two uh, diameter this is the d1 and d2 usually it is symmetrical shape so it should be same both of the uh, distance should be same but even if it is not same we have to take the average of the two here you see and then we use only one d in the weaker harness formula here to find the harness number so in this experiment which uh, we will now perform in the lab uh, i will give you two things uh, we will test one material for which we want to find the harness number so i will give you the d1 and d2 right as we are doing the uh, the, the lab for the online learning you cannot perform the lab here so i will provide you the d1 and d2 you have to find the harness number of the material and once you have the hardness number you have to tell me uh, in the report which material is it so you have to compare in the online library you have to compare different material hardness number and you see which material uh, we have tested in this experiment so now let's go to the lab okay so here we have our weaker hardness uh, machine now let me introduce this to you uh, here we have different parts in this let me start from the top so in the top we have this uh, top cover uh, sometime we want to remove it uh, when we want to put load here inside so we remove this but we have already set the load so no need to remove right then the main thing is the stage here we have the stage where we will put our specimen here we can move the stage in the one direction from this micrometer and in the another direction we can move uh, from this micrometer if we want to move the stage up and down we have to rotate this wheel here so if we rotate this wheel so the stage will move uh, up and then the stage can move down from here here again we have the turret here you can see the turret in the turret there are different parts you see the two lenses this one and the this one we have two lenses this is uh, 40 times resolution and this one is 10 time and in between here we have the indenter this is the diamond indenter diamond pyramid indenter which we will use for the indentation uh, here in today's experiment we have the lights here so the light intensity we can change we can increase and we can decrease the light intensity from here from the screen and the control uh, panel and here is the light now to change the load here we have to come to this side of the uh, the machine so from here we can change the load if we want to set the load 1.96 newton it is already set 1.9 if we want to have 0.98 newton so we have to rotate if we want to have 0.49 newton we have to rotate this one right so it depends from material to material for which material we will be using uh, like for hard material we use heavy load and for soft material we use uh, uh, less load here is the emergency switch if something happens so we have to switch it off and if it is okay so then it is okay and here we have the screen now in the screen we have different uh, uh feature so the start button is here we can stop here and we have the time uh, plus the time minus uh, it will tell us uh, to decrease or increase the dwelling time right and when the specs will work as a function if we want to let's say print so we will uh, click on the specs and then uh, the print the light intensity we can increase and we can decrease from here 
so the whole thing will happen automatically so the loading then the dwelling and then the unloading so first what we have to do what we have to put the specimen so and then we start the experiment so you will see here now we will perform the experiment you will see how we perform uh, how it goes first the loading then the dwelling and then the unloading and the diameter values the two diameter d1 and d2 values will come here now i will show you how to perform the experiment so for the experiment we have to take the specimen here is this in our specimen we don't know which material is it so we have to keep the specimen here in the machine now how we keep it look here we have to fix it here and we have to close the jaw from here so i am putting the 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 specimen and i am closing the jaws now i have to bring a little bit up the stage right and I have to see from the eyepiece here. Yeah, I forgot the eyepiece. We have here the eyepiece. From here we see the, the specimen, right? And we have to see from here and we have to bring it up the stage once the, the, the specimen is very clear. So here we will see the two lines in the specimen and you will see uh, the scratches, the micro scratches in the specimen. When they are much clear to you, as you can see on the screen in this photo, and when it is like this then you have to stop and you have to start the uh, experiment right so let me bring a little bit more up and now it is much clear right so here you see the two lines on the screen those lines we can move from here in the eyepiece we have the right drum wheel and we have the left drum wheel we can move the lines on one side and another side right so these lines we can move from one side to another side now the, everything is ready so you can see the specimen as shown in the figure uh, before now we have to start the experiment to see so the time has already been set everything is already been set the force we have set to 1.96 newton for this experiment and we have to uh, clear the, the the d1 and d2 and now we will start the experiment so once i start the experiment you will see here the turret this is known as the turret where we have the three parts the indenter and the two lenses right the turret will autom automatically it will start uh, uh, moving so the indenter will automatically come when i start the test you see now look into the turret now i am starting it now you will see the indenter has come here and you see here in the screen the loading is uh, blinking so it means now it is uh, loading so after some time it will be dwelling now it is dwelling and you see the time on the screen for 15 seconds it will dwell and then the unloading will start right so once it is unload then you will see the turret will automatically rotate and it will go back to its position and the lens will come to the specimen where the the the, the dent has been uh, done and by the machine now yeah now it is unloading you see and now the turret will go back to its position and once it is done we have to uh, adjust the two lines the vertical lines on the dent now you can see the dent here you see it is very much clear so we have to adjust the two lines right so the two lines i have to adjust like this uh, like as you see on the screen so look I have to adjust on the both the corners right and then I have to see how much is the D1 right so there is D1 and D2 D1 in the horizontal direction and D2 is in the vertical so now this is D1 now for D2 I have to rotate the eyepiece clockwise by 90 degree and then I have to see the D1 same way like this right so the d1 and i have to adjust the line again in this uh, way as you see and we have to measure d1 right so we have the two lines here and then it should come back here we have the two lines here so it is a little bit but now somehow it is okay and we have to click here right 
and the two uh, diameter value should be the same right because it is if it is not the same a little bit difference will be there because sometimes we are not able to adjust the line properly but it should be the same even if it is not the same so i show you the formula in which we have to take the average of these two uh, diameter so we will have one d now this is how we take d1 and d2 right this d1 and d2 we i will provide it to you in the on the model and then you have to find the hardness number of the specimen and you have to tell me in the report which specimen is this like this hardness number is for which uh, material and you have to uh, include this in the uh, report